Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we create playwright test to run the parallel on different different browsers. Okay, so what I am going to do, I am going to use here the Java threading concept. By using thread concept, I will implement to run that playwright test. Okay, uh, parallel execution on different browsers. So let's create first one class so i am going to give the name of the class parallel test selected here public static white main so it will create main method okay so as you know if we want to achieve the uh, multi-threading concept we need extends the thread class extend the thread class then i need to run here, uh, create here, run method. And let's print here, thread running. Okay, in public study by mean, let's create one object, okay, of the thread. So th equal to new thread, new parallel test. Then if I will call th dot start method, so it will run the thread. If I run, you will see here the message thread is running. Now let's configure here the playwright test. So I'm going to add the playwright test under the run method because thread will automatically start this run method. So first of all, create playwright object, playwright equal to playwright dot create with. Then we need to create a browser object equal to playwright dot chromium dot launch. Okay, in the launch method, we need to run test headed mode because by default it will run in headless mode. For that, we need to call the playwright browser dot type methods. Okay, import the class, and then launch option, and then set header equal to false. Okay, so it will invoke the browser in headed mode, mod, not headless mode. So let's import the browser class imported. Next, using the browser, we need to use the call the page object. Page equal to page browser dot new page. Page up is created. So here now we need to add the uh, playwright test, remaining test. So I have already created here in the orange HRM of an application, I have already created login steps. So first of all, I am navigating the URL by calling the page.navigate method. Then page.locators, enter the username right field admin. Similar type, I am entering the password and then there is a click submit button step. Then there is a logout step. So these steps I can directly copy here and paste in our test. So now one login test is completed for the orange HRM application. Okay, if I run the test, you will see it will run run on the Chromium browser. Yeah, test is running. Yeah, login done. So next we need to, to stop the test. We need to use here page dot close. You can call the browser dot close. We need to call the playwright dot close. Okay. So now if I run, you will see it will automatically close the browser as well as destroy the session.
we are running the test login now done test is done right so now if i want to run this in a multiple browsers okay and parallelly then how we do that so this is the place where we need to customize playwright.chromium so let's create another method this will return the like playwright type get browser okay here we can pass the two things one is the playwright object second is the browser type so based on the browser name right we will decide which browser object we need to launch so we can create here switch statement this is browser type okay and then i can use here the cases like chrome okay if this is a chrome then we need to read la launch get the chrome browser object okay this is the browser type here and this we can create a local variable so that we can use in all the cases browser type here is the browser type variable okay first case add the break statement okay then case 2 this is firefox okay then browser type equal to playwright dot firefox okay break the loop break the case then they we have third case this is the web kit okay and here we can create the object of web kit so browser type equal to playwright dot web kit object then break the loop in default case if we are not passing any browser then we can here throw so illegal argument exception okay illegal argument exception here we can pass a message is provide valid browser name okay then this is done and at the end we can just return the the browser type return browser type now one customized method is done which will return the browser type based on the this is browser type based on the input okay now let me add this as static method so that directly i can call in the here so this this we can replace with the newly created method where i can pass playwright object then browser type like i'm passing here the chrome okay so by default now this will run the chrome we can do more customization okay test is running now i'll open the url okay enter username and password and then click on login button close the browser after the logout now test is execution done so how we run this with multiple browsers so what we can do we can create one constructor so that runtime we can change the value of the browser type for different different object so this is the constructor and i am going to create one variable a string browser type browser name like this and uh, then i can use here as a argument 
browser name. So this dot browser name equal to browser name. Okay, one constructor is created here. So what we will do, we will create pass the browser type during the creation of object. Like I'm passing here the Chrome. Okay, and here we can pass the instance variable, this browser type. So here, now this is customized. Here we can pass the value which we can we are storing in here. Okay, and when we are creating the object at runtime, I'm passing the uh, value of the browser type, it will go and assign into these variables. So when this method will invoke, it will use the variables the value from this variable okay so in this case i am passing this chrome chrome browser type suppose that next thread i can pass here firefox then one more thread here i am going to pass babekit so babekit firefox chrome three threads created now it will run three times okay then if we want to start with thread one, thread one dot start, similar type I can call to start other two threads, thread two, thread three. Okay, so three threads, one, two, three, one for Chrome, passing the runtime Chrome name, browser name, it will store for the thread one, for thread one, browser type name equal to Chrome. For thread two, browser name equal to Firefox, for browser for thread three browser name is babekit so these three object in which it will create and for each object the browser name is different different values okay and then here when i am calling the get browser method passing here the browser name so this will value pass three values for three different sets different values for three different threads Okay, based on the, these input, it will call the methods here and then it will return the browser type based on the input. So now if I run this, you will see the three browser will launch, okay, parallelly because we have three threads, three browser will launch and it will navigate the URL and open the login the test, okay. So you can see that now currently this is executing on the two browser. For one, we are getting, please provide valid browser name, okay? So I am getting some issue for one browser. So let's see what is that. So this is a Fire Chrome, fine. This is Firefox, so there is missing E, right? So now Firefox, this is valid value to run the test for Firefox. So let me run again. Now we started three threads parallelly. Okay, you will see three browsers, Chromium, BabeKit, and Firefox. Three browsers running, close all the three, okay, and then test is completed. So this is the way you can execute your test parallel on different, different browsers, okay, and I hope this will be, this approach will be helpful. Also share this video to your colleagues, friend, and like the video, also subscribe the channel so you can get the latest video. Thanks for watching the video.